Hi everyone, Nafis here from Technobiz and today I will show you what my YouTube studio looks like and some of the gears that I use to create all these videos for my channel. So this is my small 9 feet by 9 feet bedroom that I have converted into my YouTube studio slash my home office. First, let me show you what I have got on my work desk. So this is where I edit all my YouTube videos, write scripts or answer all my emails. I do have a fully functioning editing powerhouse with a monitor to match, but I prefer to edit all my videos on this iPad Pro. This is the third generation iPad Pro which I have been using to edit my videos ever since I have started this channel on YouTube. I use a paid app called LumaFusion which is great because it can handle all the 4K files that I throw at it. Now on the other side I have my actual YouTube studio setup. This backdrop stand is something I recently invested in to give a more cleaner look in my videos. But I need to put a lot of light on this so that there are no creases or shadows that show up on the back. Now let me show you some of the gear that I use on the daily. So I shoot all my videos using the new Sony a7 IV. Before I got this camera just 4 weeks ago, I used to have the Sony a7 III. Both of them are solid cameras but if you are into videos mostly, then this upgrade is totally worth it. And for my go-to lens, I use the Tamron 28-75mm f2.8 lens and for close-ups and macro work, I use this f2.8 90mm macro lens from Sony. Then for audio, I have installed some acoustic panels from Aurelex all around the room so that I don't get any echoes. And to record my voice, I use the Rode Wireless Go 2 mic. They are small, wireless and can work with phones and as well as laptops. So needless to say that I love these guys. I also use an external monitor to help me keep myself or any other things on the frame. This one is called Feel World 4K Monitor and it gives me a clear and bright image while inside or outside. But the most important piece of equipment in my arsenal is my teleprompter. This one is from Desview and it works with wide angle lenses like up to 17mm in focal length. The next most important item are my lights. You can have awesome camera with the best lens but if you have bad light then everything just looks bad. But that being said, I use the daylight along with some $50 lights that I got from Amazon for the longest time. Then I bought a bunch of these LED lights and finally this December I got the Ameren 100D with the Light Dome SE. Now this light is enough even when I'm shooting at really low aperture during my macro shots. You can even control the amount of light you want here. I usually have it at 60% but for macro shots, I might just crank it up to 100. Alright, now let's move on to the more interesting stuff. Here I have all my DJI products. Now the thing is, since I am a one-man army, I love a camera that can track a moving object or more importantly, me. So I have the RS2 gimbal here, the DJI OM4 phone gimbal here and the DJI Air 2S drone. Now all of these comes with DJI's proprietary active track feature to track me. It feels like someone else is controlling the camera when there is really no one, which is great for my workflow. And to help me take some more interesting product shots, I have the Edelkron Dolly 1 here. I also have the Edelkron Head Plus Pro here. These two can give me dolly shots, slider shots or pan and tilt movements all in one combined. And for macro videography, I think this combination works very well as you can get those really smooth and really slow moving shots to capture every little detail. I also have the Guts and Moses Slypod e-slider here. This is a slider that I recently got to pair with my DJI RS2 gimbal to capture more dynamic product shots. I can get the RS2 to track an object while the Slypod e moves this entire system giving this parallax kind of look which I really love. Okay, one last thing that I want to show you is this portable photography studio. It comes with its own light, it's got an LED light inside with a diffuser and it even has different backdrops to go with it. All I did was pair it up with a Lazy Susan from a company called Foldio and then boom, I have another way of getting some cool product shots. So there you have it, that's all my gear and my studio in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you have any questions then let me know and I will try to answer them all in the comment section ASAP. Also thanks again to all of you for being here. This channel has reached 1k subs and then 2k subs shortly afterwards and all of that happened within this very year and this would not have been possible without all of you. So thank you again, I wish you all the best and 
happy holidays and good luck in the new year. And I hope to see you again very soon. Peace.